Greetings, comic friends. It is time to get this TGIW back on track. Thank God it is Wednesday, celebrating the best day of the week, New Comic Book Day. It was a nice light one, uh, which was good. I had a lot of stuff going on uh, this this week and weekend, so got away with only six books, which is which is nice. That's a nice little break from having to catch up on like almost two months worth of of reading over the last couple of weeks. So I was able to get through these pretty easily. Uh, and for the most part, we're, we're pretty solid. Uh, for me, the weakest one of the week was Batman 137. And not because that it was bad or anything. is It's because it's, because it's uh, part of a crossover that uh, I, I didn't read the... This is part two of it. I didn't read the first part. It was in a one shot of this um, uh, Batman, Catwoman, Gotham War. Uh, I, I read it. It feels like I missed a lot. Uh, picked some stuff up on context, but definitely a little bit lost in what's going on. I don't plan on going back and getting that or getting the, the rest of it other than if it shows up in Batman again because I think it's it's also in Catwoman, which I don't get, and I, I, just, I don't want to get those other books. So you know, nothing nothing bad against the book. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it's fine and the story's going to be great. I just I don't want to invest in, in all those other books that I usually don't get. So just for me personally, this um, being a part of that arc that I'm not reading made it not as enjoyable <clears throat> but i'm sure it's great zadarsky is one of my favorites so i I'm, I'm sure those that do decide to read it are gonna have a great time with it the last issue of this silk limited uh i i wish i didn't get this it was good i really enjoyed it i just need to do a better job of double checking when i pick up number ones because i i rarely have time to go through previews anymore i just i just so much going on i don't get around to it so when i see like silk number one sitting on the shelf i think oh a new silk ongoing cool i'll pick it up and then it ends up being unlimited it, it's happened to me a couple of times and that's that's my own fault for for not you know investigating or whatever uh and i am trying to stay away from the limiteds except for like the really really important ones or ones i'm really excited about so I picked it up thinking it was going to be an ongoing. It's not. I enjoyed it. I like Silk. It was a good story. So again, nothing against it. It was very good. Uh, all I'm saying is I probably wouldn't have picked it up if I had done my homework. On the other hand, speaking of books in a limited series, uh, Ghost Rider Wolverine Omega, The Weapons of Vengeance. So I really like this. <clears throat> Uh, I there there was the alpha which I picked up mostly for the memes because of that awful Frank Miller cover which I absolutely love. Then I read it and like this is freaking good. Then I read part two which was in Ghost Rider which I get anyway. And like yeah I, I'm I'm still into this. So I did pick up the Wolverine and then then this this book here. Um, this one I felt was worth it. It was it was good. It didn't have me, it, you know, I, I had to pick up an issue of Wolverine, which I don't really like having to do, but it's not like it was two or three issues of Wolverine, it was just one. And then the, the one-shots are kind of fine end caps, I, I, I can do that. Uh, and I think it was worth it, it was a really interesting story. So I, I suggest reading that if, uh, if you can. Fantastic Four number 11. Uh, another great story. I, I'm really liking this. Uh, I'm, what I'm guessing is like for a year while the time bubble or whatever is <laughs> happening um, at the around the, the Baxter building, while they're kind of waiting that out, they're staying at Ampetunia's and they're just having these nice little stories. Some of them are just one issue. Some may cross two or three issues or, or something like that. But it's nice to have just these nice little digestible Fantastic Four stories. And they've all been fantastic. Uh, no, no, no pun intended. So it's, it's nice. It, it, Fantastic Four sometimes isn't, I'm not going to say it's not an easy read. It's just, there's, a, there's usually a lot going on. 
So it's nice to have a breather of a Fantastic Four book where it's just, all right, I'm going to pick up this issue. I get a self-contained story. It was great. Where's the next one? So I really like what they're doing with, uh, with that. Amazing Spider-Man number 33. I am digging this. So uh, Craven got all the sins that were extracted from Norman into the spear uh, with the help of um, Goblin Queen, or Queen Goblin, Goblin Queen, I think, <clears throat> and was trying to put them back into Norman, but Peter stepped in the way, and he got all of Norman's sins, and he's not doing well. <laughs> um, he is acting kind of like Norman does. He just kind of goes off the rails, and it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm excited to see where that one goes. And lastly, Moon Knight number 27. I'm really liking this uh, Black Spectre story. I think that's the name of the, the, the villain that's kind of bringing up a bunch of Mark's old villains and uh, we, we're kind of getting an idea of what he's really trying to do. Hunter Moon is there. I really like Hunter Moon and the dynamic between the two of them. There was some really cool stuff in this issue. I don't want to give it away. They go into a mindscape, which at first is like, well, this is kind of weird, but there's a good reason for it. There, they, it, it, they, they get there in a, in a meaningful, not a meaningful, uh, a way that makes sense. I mean, makes sense as far as comics go. There's a story reason for it. Uh, and there's some cool stuff that happens in that dreamscape. Uh, like, really, really cool. So, yeah, I, if you're not reading Moon Knight, I highly suggest it. Uh, and, and that's it. Just a nice short little week. No no bonus extras or, or anything like that. Just a nice short little stack that I was able to read through and enjoy and, and share with you here. So, short TGIW this, uh, this time around, but I still hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and like and subscribe. And, of course, don't forget to... Make yours Titan. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.